One extremely surprising statistic from the 2024 Proofpoint State of the Fish report is that 89% of security professionals believe that multi-factor authentication, or MFA, provides complete protection against account takeover. Given all the different techniques by which MFA can be bypassed, such as session hijacking, help desk social engineering, SIM swapping, and MFA fatigue attacks, to name some of the most popular ones, it's not hard to see why MFA is less effective now. This is due in part to all the kits that are available to automate MFA bypass, such as Evil Proxy, Mudlishka, Evil Jinx, and others. This video demonstrates how easy it is to bypass MFA and should help dispel the myth of MFA's complete protection and should help move your thinking to how to provide greater defense in depth. In this video, we demonstrate how an MFA-enabled Microsoft 365 account can be taken over by a threat actor using the widely available Evil Jinx adversary in the middle attack framework. Evil Jinx is a phishing tool used to perform attacks primarily aimed at stealing login credentials and session cookies, even when MFA is enabled on the account. It includes a reverse proxy server that intercepts communication between the user and the malicious website enabling attackers to take over an account without the user knowing. Here we assume that Alex Wilbur or Alex W, an employee of a top demo organization, has been socially engineered by the threat actor and redirected by him to a fake but very real looking Microsoft 365 login page. Note that on the left side of the screen is the standard Microsoft login page that anyone would expect to see. But on the right side of the screen, is the live Evil Jinx attack tool, which is acting as a reverse proxy server for this web login session. From Alex's point of view, he thinks he's logging into the organization's actual Microsoft 365 tenant. In this scenario, Alex receives his second factor, a one-time code, via an SMS text. However, it could have been delivered from an app on his phone. It makes no difference how the second factor is delivered. Note, while Alex is successfully logging into Microsoft, Evil Jinx captures the session cookie. The threat actor then takes this cookie from the tool and logs into the organization's actual Microsoft 365 tenant as Alex Wilbur. Of course, once the threat actor does that, he has access to everything that Alex has access to in Microsoft 365, including Alex's corporate email account. This is where the malicious actions progress quickly. First, the threat actor creates a malicious mailbox rule to delete all incoming email in order to keep real Alex unaware of the attack. Next, using OAuth, the threat actor connects a new email client to Alex's account. Of course, this perfectly legitimate email client is under the control of the threat actor. Note now, all of Alex's email is now mirrored to the threat actor's email client. Even when real Alex changes his password, the attacker still controls this mailbox until the application's access token is revoked. This persistently configured email client remains a very stealthy backdoor to Alex's email. Once Alex's account has been taken over, the threat actor is, is essentially Alex Wilbur from a digital identity perspective. He is now inside the organization and can expand his malicious activities within the Microsoft 365 cloud tenant or pivot to applications and hosts inside the enterprise. Once he's in, he's in. It is now up to the organization's defense in depth security controls to detect and remediate this cloud account takeover. Note that the MFA-enabled authentication for this account was nothing more than a security speed bump for this threat actor.